Finally, finally, Yolo V9 is in. And in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to run inference using Yolo V9 on both image files and video files. Ready to do it? Let's get right into it. Alrighty, guys. So for this particular tutorial, we'll be using Google Colab. And I've already prepared this notebook for you where you just need to run through these cells and upload your images and video files you want to run influence on so um the first thing we'll go ahead to do is to clone the repository then afterwards we'll download the pre-trained model we change directory into the clone repository and then we'll install our dependencies and finally we just with one line of code we'll run influence on both image files and video files okay so when you open Colab, the first thing is to change your runtime to GPU because they give you a free GPU. So you come to runtime and then change runtime type. So already mine is on GPU and uh, you can see my system is already connected. I have the check mark here. So I'll go ahead and first clone this particular GitHub repository. So all I'll do is to run that cell and you can see git clone and I'll clone that particular repository so after cloning it i have to get that folder here you can click on this refresh button and then you will get your v9 here okay so um the second thing we'll do is to download the pre trained model we'll be using to run the inference so as at the time i'm recording this particular video these are the models available uh in your v9 so we have your v9 c dot pt dash e dot pt then we have the glam c dot pt as well so this four you can use either of them to run inference but in this case you are going to download both of them but i will be using only one actually so let me run the cell then you get all these models downloaded you guys can try the different models out there you can use any of them so that you give me feedback in the comment section which one works for you better so i think it's done downloading the first two you can also run this particular cell to download the next two okay, so that's it our downloading is done so we've actually downloaded all these pre-trained models the next thing we have to do is to change directory into this particular yolo v9 folder so we'll run this particular cell cd to yolo v9 which means we are changing directory into the yolo v9 folder okay so now that we are in the folder we have to install the dependencies if I open Yolo V9, you can see we have requirement.txt file right here. And in this file, it contains all the libraries we need to install in order to use this model. So uh, simply, I'll just run this pip install requirement.txt. And this will go ahead and install all the libraries for us. Then we can go ahead and run influence on both images and video files. So guys, I'll be sharing this uh, particular notebook with you guys on GitHub. You can leverage it and also use it yourself. You can run inference and let me know how you think uh, Yolo V9 is performing. Is it something greater than Yolo V8 as per um, what we have seen in the benchmark images or you think uh, we should expect something else? So the last part here is to now run inference and to run inference, we need images so over here on my desktop i have some three images with one video so i'll just copy all and upload them so they are loading and these images will take some time to uh, actually upload on our google collab okay so here we go we have the first image nice.jpg and grid.jpg then the last one is a video file so let's now okay the video is also done soft video.mp4 so now let's run inference on this particular image but before that, I can show you the images. This is a great image. You can see we have uh, some nice looking girls right here. With uh, We have a dog here, another dog and a cat. So let's see uh, whether this model will be able to detect these objects accurately. This is the second image as well. It also contains human being and dog. And then the video we're running the inference on is this video. So. This video is actually uh, generated by AI. So OpenAI Sora model generated this video, but I'm be testing it with um, Yolo V9 to see how well it detects all the different objects in this particular video. All right, so back on Google Colab here, all we need to do is to change the path to our video file. So you can see we are running the detect.py file in uh, our Yolo V9 folder. And over here, we are specifying the particular width we are using. 
the pre-train model we've downloaded so we are using the euro v9.c.pt so in case you want to use any of these you just have to specify it here so you can see all that we've downloaded we have one we have two we have the third one and the fourth one so we are using this very one the c.pt you can change any of them and let me know uh, how each of them performs by in this tutorial we'll just use this one and that's it the aim of the tutorial is to show you how to run inference so you guys can try out all the different models and let me have your feedback in the comment section okay so i've chosen that model and the source here you should replace it with the video or image you want to use so right here i want to use uh this nice this uh, image so i'll just copy the path and replace it right here then the device is equal to cpu or you can simply do device is equal to what zero and then you run this which i think it will automatically pick up your gpu so let's run this cell now okay so over here it has picked up our gpu tesla t4 which is right here that means um when his device is set to zero it, it picks up your gpu but if you are not using gpu then the device here should be set to cpu okay so it's, it's done and our result is saved in runs detect and exp so uh, i'll open yolo v9 then over here let's locate our runs folder which is here and inside runs we have the text we have our results right here so we can just click on this and we we'll have our results here so you can see how nice and accurate is detecting this i think i can make this bigger for you guys to see and here is it so it is able to detect the guy the children and also detected the dog and i think the confidence value is very high or uh, it seems this the other girl there is hiding a little bit so her confidence is about 40 something but this this is great results i think this is great so let's run this on the second image and see how it performs and for that we just change uh this here so the second image that should be the great image grid.png so we just copy the path and then replace it here all right so let me run this once again to see the results okay so we are done and it's saved to runs detect and exp2 so we go to our yolo 9 folder you locate runs and then detect then it's in this particular folder so this is our result and let's visualize it as well all right guys so here is it you can see how it's accurately detecting everything I'm, I'm much impressed about um the confidence and how well it's detecting this particular dog right here you can see with an accuracy of 90 percent but this dog uh is halfway not in the image but is able to detect it well and look at how it detects all of the objects in this particular image so i think our uh, yoluna is doing an amazing job i don't know you for you guys you should comment with your opinion do you think uh, it's a game changer or you think uh, there is more to improve about this for me i think this is doing a fantastic job already then for the final one we are coming to run this on a video file and right here we have our video file the name is softvideo.mp4 i have to just copy the path so with video is the same kind of thing just replace the path and that is it it will auto detect that that is a video and then try to uh, detect everything in that video so let's run this and it will take some time for video fast okay so you can see it's detecting chairs some keyboards and so it's taking them frame by frame and detecting stuffs in the video file so let's see how it will perform finally okay so this is safe to run detect and uh exp3 so you know v9 let's look it runs and then detect then finally exp3 then here is our video so what we'll do is to download this video file and then we can uh, visualize it on our desktop okay guys so the download is done and then we can locate this in our downloads folder so i'll open downloads and here is it i'll drag and drop this on our desktop and then uh let's open this and see how best is detecting so guys look at it just look at it it's getting the dog the chair the tv and the keyboard so i think this is performing great guys 
it's just 10 second video and this video is actually generated by the sora model from open ai so this performing well so my overall opinion about yulovina is how it's performing greatly it's, it's working great so if you guys love it or you love this type of videos let me know in the comment section also make sure you share this video with uh some of your friends and i'll share the notebook with you so that you can practice with it this is all for this particular tutorial so i'll see you in the next tutorial